Turbo Nitro. Like most hot rods, the cars can use nitro or turbo boost. Its main function is to assist in gaining lost ground. However, use turbo for a quick increase in speed which can help you out of a tight situation. Using the turbo after a turn will also give you an edge in recovering lost speed. To activate turbo, press the turbo button. Using the turbo on straight roads and in short bursts also makes it easier to control your car. Unfortunately, turbo cannot be refilled, so use wisely. Pitting Pitting is a required feature utilized in Grand Prix mode. While racing in this mode, the user consumes fuel and must pit in order to refuel and change tires if necessary to stay in contention. Keeping a close eye on the fuel gauge is a must as you will have to use your best judgment as to the timing of your pits. Pit areas are where your car will stop to get refueled and have the tires changed. The pit areas are located around the start-finish line, although on some courses they may not be exactly at the line. In order to refuel, to change tires, simply drive your car into the sectioned pit area. Drive your car into the yellow marked areas, any one will do, and stop completely. Holding the brake button helps, but is not necessary. Any movement of your car, by you or another car hitting yours, will interrupt the pitting process. Hit the brake button to stop completely to continue the pitting process. There is a gas penalty for using turbo in Grand Prix mode, so watch your turbo usage or you will have to pit more often. Manual Steering this is for the risk taker that wants to take complete control of the action. The default steering is automatic. However, for the simulation lover that's buried within you, steering in this mode allows you to manually change gears. To avoid crashing on extremely sharp turns, brake slowly, then downshift as you come into the turn. Drifting. So you're in the mood to drift, eh? Drifting is what is all about. If you want to be successful in outrunning and gunning your competitors, be sure to maximize the use of this feature. The reason why drifting is used is to give the player a slight advantage at the most opportune moments. Drifting concurrently will allow you to maintain control while barreling through a turn at high speeds. When driving, before you get to the turn, ease off the accelerator and use the handbrake button to steer into the turn. When timed correctly, the vehicle will position itself in a drifting state. Notice here that the tires are turning the opposite direction the vehicle is going in. Steering in the opposite direction will prolong the drift. From here, you can quickly accelerate to take advantage. Braking Techniques The art of braking is a crucial component for finding success. The trick is to utilize both the regular and hand brake buttons in the right situations. General Braking This is your run-of-the-mill generic braking button. If you want to slow down the action, just hit this button to come to a gradual slowdown. The longer you hold it, the more abrupt the stop. Advanced braking and drifting requires the use of the handbrake button. Hand braking is used as a stabilizer while traveling at high velocities. Even though it is not nearly as effective as a complete braking measure, it will definitely allow you to 1. Take corners more efficiently by pushing the user into drift mode and 2. Will give you a quick slowdown in a pinch. To stop quicker, use the handbrake button and the regular brake button.